Previously on Canada's Next Top Model, 20 girls arrive but are shocked to discover that they have to fight to qualify for the competition. You girls are the 10. The finalists get familiar with their new surroundings. This is my bad. This is my bad. And each other. It's Mika. She is driving me fucking insane. The models bear it all in a revealing first photo shoot. Oh, the booty looks good. And even though Steph hears some harsh criticism, if I were to just look at the face, I would almost think this is a man in drag. It's Mika who's the first to go. Nine girls remain. Who will be eliminated tonight? What you Even though I'm not a fan of Mika, I'm glad Steph didn't go home. Mika didn't get along well with the other girls. She kind of set herself apart from everybody. She was just a different character. Has to go still I feel me. very happy that Mika is gone. I hate your stuff. Can we just rearrange the whole room? Because mm, bring that in first. He's on chair. He, this is bomb. <laughs> Okay, so here's your task. Take a walk over to the mirror, take a look, and get ready to say goodbye. Yeah! Yeah! Everybody go say goodbye! Say goodbye to this! Hey, girls. Hi, you? Okay, why are we in this glorious salon? You tell me. Well, last week, we talked about creating a brand for yourself. The hair, makeup, how you style yourself, it's all about your personal style. Steph, we're gonna start with you. We're gonna take that blonde all throughout. We're gonna shorten it up in the back a bit and give yes. it a little more dynamic. Tara, now, I don't know if my cat coughed that up and that's a hairball or what, <laughs> but we are gonna give you a long and wavy weave. Yes. Nice. 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 Rebecca, we're going to take the length up to oh. here, and you're going to be fire engine red. Jacqueline, we're gonna throw some light up in your hair and make you kind of like Rachel Hunter. So Tia, what we're gonna do is take you to this kind of coppery end mm -hmm. and give you lots of full extensions. Mm -hmm. Mo, we're gonna shape it up, give it a little bit more of a strong angle, and we're gonna take your color into a nice cup of dark chocolate, baby. <laughs> Corey, I see an exotic Giselle Bunchen. Oh. So we are gonna give you this sexy bombshell hair. Awesome. Gina, we're gonna take you a darker brown. We're gonna give you a strong angled bob. <laughs> So, Sinead, we are using Natalie Portman as our reference today. Super, super, super short all over. Each and every one of you girls are going to get that pow today. Pow. <laughs> okay, Gino, master colors. He has worked all over the globe. He knows color. He rocks the girls in this competition. And I wouldn't think of anybody else better to have here today. So now your stylist, Gisela, is gonna talk to you about your new personal style so you can really stand out from the rest of the girls around you. I'm gonna see you guys all later, all right? Bye. Bye. Thanks, Nolay. See you guys. Dye it, cut it, shave it off. I didn't even care. I'm a really outgoing person as it is already, I so I think it's that. just gonna enhance like my, my confidence. The confidence is actually oh. the best accessory you can have, so I think you're gonna do just fine. A big change. You saying goodbye to your hair? It's a big change, Jay. Ah! Uh, it was still stressful. At first, I was a little questionable about some of the things they were wanted to do. Oh my god! <laughs> like it's dark, but I love this look. I feel like a supermodel. <laughs>
Put your hand up and kind of work it. Oh, uh oh. You're so quiet over there, Tara. How are you feeling? I'm just trying to cope with the pain. <laughs> like, the sewing is nothing compared to the braiding. You have a fabulous no, neck, so anything with a low neckline, that'd be perfect. But always keep it clean. So my gold is radiator over here. Look at her. With your new hair, you have to have to adapt and work your style. Are you excited? I'm so excited. You seem uncomfortable right I'm now. I'm not uncomfortable at all. I just want to be over with because I just want to see so bad. OK. Presentation is super, super key, especially with this transformation. Yeah. You look kind of scary. It looks like you just came out of surgery or something. <laughs> Oh, I know. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Ah. <laughs> Covergirl sent over this amazing gift basket. Thank you so much. Gina, you've made the top ten. Corey, congrats on making it this far. Please enjoy the basket of Covergirl goodies. We customize these to complement your fair skin tone. The Covergirl tee. Oh, my goodness. Awesome. Oh, my God. It's all gorgeous. I'm going to have so much fun when I get home. Oh, yeah. Oh, goodbye hair. It's all gone. Ah. Oh. Totally not crying because of my haircut. My sister, she had a tumor. It was right in the center of her brain. They had to cut open up there, so she had her hair cut short, obviously. That's something crying. Kind of She's OK now, but it was scary. Have you run your hand through your hair yet? <laughs> Me feel? Oh, I love it. <laughs> Took off the girl's hair, and she became a model. That's true. <laughs> nice. Looks great. Excellent. Amazing. That's it. That's great. That's it. Jake's exactly. Beautiful. I love my over. It's really, really, really different, but it makes you feel longer, and it gives me confidence. I love my makeover. I feel like a Bond girl. I felt so hot, and I love this hair. The prank work is just gonna absolutely love it. Now, you know what to do, right, baby? Yeah. Please introduce yourself to me because I do not know who you are. <laughs> Your name is You're Tara. I'm Tara Marie. I can't believe it. What hair can do for you? I better go buy me some. So worth the pain. Like it is awesome. I love it. New hair color. At first, I was very skeptical sure. about, but I'm, I understand it's very editorial. So I don't know. It's kind of up in the air right now. Hold my hand. I don't want to be a crybaby, but I think that they made like everyone look gorgeous, and I kind of look like the odd one out. If I was to see me walking down the street, I wouldn't think it was like high fashion. I'd think I was a freak. Closed captioning of Canada's next. We went for our makeover day. It's very, very different for me. No, oh let's God. see. I have short hair. My hair is red. If I was to see me walking down the street, I wouldn't think it was like high fashion. Better. I'd think I was a freak. What's um, wrong, honey? This is my favorite hairdo. <laughs> I know, just all the other girls got like the pretty, like this, and I got the weird one. I don't yeah. really feel pretty. He cut Sinead's hair off. <laughs> now, if I was standing here with Sinead, I could understand, but standing here with you, Rebecca, I'm like, I'm like, I can't even believe it. I don't know. I'm going to shake you. I'm going to shake the red right out of your hair. Nice. <laughs> like really well. Excellent. Great. That's, I love Beautiful. You. Jay's going to love this. I don't know how the pictures turned out, but I could tell that they're not going to be good. I guess I didn't bring it to the table today, so I'm kind of pissed at myself. Gina, with that hair, would have flipped out. She oh, got it cut short and dyed brown. And she was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I guess I'm just being a big puss. Yeah, nice. I That's was great. really nervous for my photo shoot just because of the elimination round. I fully have confidence in that now. <laughs> Whatever Nole says, I'm going to do. Great, Corey. I think my photo shoot went amazing. He didn't actually have one bad thing to say. I think I just hit the set of Victoria's Secret with these girls. It was just praises, so I feel really confident coming out of that photo shoot. Wow. Gosh, that's awesome. I'm a 
actually a lot more confident and comfortable this time than I was at the first photo shoot. At the end of the day, I think I came out with amazing pictures. We're good, Mo. We got it. Oh, okay. Amazing. Don't move. Just stretch. Great. I feel like the photo shoot went well. The photographer was really excited to work with me. It's nice. Yeah. Judging from no lays expressions, the pictures were turning out really nice, which is great because last judging day, the picture I had was not so great. So I'm hoping that this time when they look for a best photograph, it'll be higher than they were expecting. Hey, girls. Hey. How are you doing? I love it. You guys look like models now. This is great. Nolay, did a great job. Thank you. Look at these girls. We actually have nine models in front of us. Right now, you girls are all a wow. Nolay actually sent me some footage of you guys doing your photo shoot. One girl specifically stood out. The girl that really stood out today was Sinead. She's sitting over here. You really embraced this look. Nolay That's told me great. you rocked your photo shoot. Yeah. Sinead. You have just won a $5,000 no, shopping spree. Oh my God, I love you. Courtesy of Visa. This is all you need to keep up your whole new look, start off your new wardrobe, and don't forget to sign the back because it's yours. There were tears today, but it wasn't because you were losing your hair. You were talking about your sister and that you really wanted to donate your hair to Locks for Love. We're gonna donate this and hopefully they'll take it, okay? Okay. And I think that that's, you know, really admirable. And to me, that says spokesmodel, role model to other young women out there. And so you really deserve this. <laughs> In order to be a top model, you have to stand out in a crowd. There are plenty of fish in the sea. I don't think are that's true. What me? makes you unique? Aquarium! Are we swimming? No. Yes, what does that mean? Stand out in the middle of a crowd. Sinead with her short hair. Wow, she is rocking that. She won the challenge today. I'm so proud of her. I think that she totally deserves it, for sure. You look great. She's definitely a threat, and all the girls are seeing that now. Um, but she's just so sweet. I don't know if other girls would admit they're jealous. Some might, but oh no, I was jealous. I thought about going in the hot tub. Like, I would have gone in the hot tub, but I just kind of needed a bit of a break from some of the girls here. I don't mean to sound like a bitch here, but they just don't <laughs> shut up. They don't. Mm -hmm. Amazing, Amazing grace. <laughs> that about enough. Good night. How sweet the scent. <laughs> We're all so different, it blows my mind. And the fact that we are trying to live under one roof. Hey, hey, hey! No splashing around my new week. Tara is way too confident. She's always bragging, and she's not modest at all. But I'm doing no, 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 right no, now. Let me talk. She was, like, intimidating, like... You were kind of scared that she could kick your ass. There is sort of a dividing line, I think, with maturity levels. Sinead and Corey, Tia and Steph all get along really, really well. I love, I love everyone I in love school. You three are my favorite. How are the girls there? Annoying. <sighs> They're annoying. Tara always been known as kind of the scary girl. Is that my job? It's totally OK. It's just guys. some people are getting a little ticked off at her because they think she needs to just back off. I'm not one of those people who needs everyone to be my friend and everyone to like me. I'm here to win. This is my new hair. I absolutely love it. Got J-Mail and he said you need to stand out in a crowd. He's talking a lot about like branding and putting like the whole package together and always looking awesome. Good morning, ladies. As you can see, we're here at Studio One, one of Toronto's top photographic studios. We're gonna be doing your beauty shoot. Now a beauty shot is crucial for a model's portfolio. So today, I have an incredible photographer, Mr. Dan Lim. Oh, we nice. have Beautiful. some very interesting props. 
or other beauties that will be working with you. Now, do you see this? They looked so perfect. They look like plastic. And then I got the whiff, and I was like, no, they are definitely real, because it reeks like a fish market. <laughs> these are going to be your props for today. We are going to decoratively place these on your face. <gasps> my heart rate went up like 50 beats. And I was like, oh my god, that goes in my head. I'm going to pass out. Don't let the fish outshine you. It's all pretty slimy and smelly, so how we're going to transform that into a beauty shot, I'm not really sure. Get that octopus ready. Oh, I can't even. Today was a bad day. It's really cool. Can I see your wrist? Like, first thing in the morning, we want to put a big scary thing on you. What about the octopus? And monster? you're going to have to let us do that, so just don't watch. And it was like, oh, my god. Yeah. Things good. It's okay. It's okay. What kind of pissed me off after that was, of all people, to put it on, then they put it on Sinead. Like, f It's kind of gross, but... Figure if I can put it in my mouth, I can put it on my head. Yeah. That thing is moving. I swear to God, I think it's alive. It's not. <laughs> I like, surprisingly, it's not as slimy as I thought it would be. Don't let the octopus suck you up. Great. Bring your chin up a little. Sinead's got great bone structure. The camera loves her face. I'm not seeing the passion at all in your eyes. I need to see the yeah. intensity in your eyes. We threw an octopus on Sinead's head, and she came out looking like a beauty. Do you know that she works in a meat factory? Nothing really grosses me out anymore. And she's already bleeding. Oh, God. Yeah, big eyes. Rebecca's got such an editorial, almost strange beauty about her. Watch it. You're getting a little crunchy with the face. Try it again. She's not conveying that she really loves this makeover yet, which makes me feel that she's not giving me her best. Great. Nice. Let's put the okay. caviar to the yeah. test. It's all about the passion in your eyes. Big eyes for me. Big. Extend the chin out. Really. Jacqueline yeah. didn't take my direction beyond just what I gave her. Strong. I mean, we did try to tell her to show us different expressions, and she gave us that one classic face. I was reacting to directions, so I think it went well. Jacqueline needs to really press harder and dig deep. As you know, Sinead yesterday won a five thousand no! dollar no! shopping spree courtesy <laughs> of Visa. Now, Sinead, you know our fabulous stylist, Gisela. You can go with her right now to the hottest store in Toronto to spend your $5,000. And you got your credit card ready? Damn, why not me? That's because Sinead's better than me. I thought they were all, like, treated and stuff, and they just looked alive. No, they're alive. They're, they're Yeah. They're alive? No, 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 no they're, they're dead. They're but they're they're fresh. Fresh. Yeah. The snails are alive. They suck on your face. That's how they get them to stick. So what would you do if they made you eat it? Like, if they made you put it in your face, I'd be like, I'd take my fish, and I'd be like, <laughs> fishy kiss. You know, like, you know, I love this Jello. Lunchbox hero jello. I think it's, like, low fat or. They're so good. If it was at my house, I'd eat all four in the pack. In like one sitting. I can't stop myself. I love playing. <laughs> Bring your little snail head over here. It's like escargot. All we need is some garlic and butter sauce, and we can dip your whole head in it, honey. Don't be catching fish with your open mouth, baby. We were selling fish, not clowns. It was like fishing in the Sahara Desert. This girl could not land a beauty shot to save her life. She's just not photogenic. Not gonna lie, Steph sorta looks like a drag queen. Now that is giving me Sunday church. It's called the crab head. Long right neck, baby, long, long neck. Yeah, neck. There you go. It's dripping again, please. It's dripping down my face the entire purge. And now my hair smells like crab. It makes me a little sad because I wasn't supposed to get my hair wet. It's a weave. Who cares? Gorgeous. Underneath all the crabbiness, she really served an amazing shot. You're soaking wet with crab juice. Well, my calamari head. Power with the eyes. Yep. Mean, yep. Gino.
I was really nervous because I kind of got strip ripped off me in the last elimination. I really had to nail it this time around. Think fierce. There you go. Good. Don't close again. your mouth. Yeah. Miss Gina, Miss Girl Next Door, may have the potential to be a model, but I'm still not sure. I've got seaweed around my neck, and I've got fish in my hair. You can feel the blood reeking through. Love the eyes. Watch the lips. Yeah, I like it. Good. No smiles. Bring the shoulders forward face. a bit. Yeah. Mo, yeah. she's an amazing girl. She's killer skin. I'm just not convinced she's a beauty girl. I totally went there and did better than I've ever done before, and I felt really confident. Tia is not the conventional beauty at all, but she walked up on that set today and she rocked it. Love That's that. it. This side's better than this side. The one negative for Tia was she told me what her best angle was. That's my job. I know what your best angle is. That is fierce, honey. I was blown away. Her look was almost as if she was doing an Yves Saint Laurent campaign. Tia gave me the best shot of the day. Nice. Make this thing happen. I want you to be the hot fish special of the day. <laughs> <laughs> the eye should not just be blank. You should be thinking about something or right through my camera. Corey just doesn't know her face well enough yet, how to really work the shape and the expression of her lips. So now we talking. Beautiful. Corey can take an amazing photo, but to get that photo is luck. Got gotcha. you. Beautiful. I don't think any of the girls are jealous that I won the $5,000. Everyone's been really cool and excited with me about it. At the photo shoot when Sinead, she got to go shopping and spend her credit card. And when she came back, well, I'm not gonna lie, jealous. Smell that money. All your clothes. These are for you guys. Aww. You're so sweet. I don't wanna say we were expecting it, but knowing her character, we kind of expected that she would get us something. It was so Sinead to do it. You got one for each of us? Oh, you got... Aw, you're such a sweetheart. Sinead! Okay. <laughs> okay, I had $5,000. Yeah. <laughs>
Good evening, ladies. I feel like I'm standing in a room full of models. You look amazing. The makeovers have done you all justice. You look absolutely glorious. Wow. So let's talk about our fabulous prizes. The first is a modeling contract with top agency, Sutherland Models, an editorial spread in Fashion Magazine, a $100,000 modeling contract with P&G Beauty, makers of Nice and Easy, and CoverGirl. So now let me reintroduce you to our judges, acclaimed fashion and celebrity photographer, Paul Alexander. Ciao. <laughs> International supermodel, Yasmin Warsame. Fashion journalist and editor, Miss Jeannie Becker. And our guest judge this week is your very own personal fashion stylist, Gisela Castillo. Hi, ladies. Well, you know what I love about the fact not only that you guys had these dynamic makeovers, but I sent you all the exact same little black dress. And I love the fact that they look like it's totally that's different gowns. That's the same dress? That's the same dress. Oh. You're kidding me. So you guys brought your own personality to it, which is step one of tonight's little challenge. As you can see, we've got a table here. And Yasmin, give me a little strut. I have a little surprise under this table. Woo! There is a table full of accessories. Now, as a top model, you never know when you're gonna be called to go to a major party, an event, and all you have is your little black dress. I need you to accessorize yourselves. You have 30 seconds. Now. 15 seconds, girls. Time's up. Now that's some individual style. All right, so for your assessments, we have randomly drawn names, and Sinead, you're first. You were the challenge winner this week. The challenge that they had was which girl could rock her new look in a photo shoot right after makeovers. So congratulations, that was good. Let's talk a little bit about these accessories you chose here. First of all, why did you style your little black dress like this? When they showed me the picture of Natalie Portman, who my hairstyle was inspired by, she was wearing a strapless dress, and I noticed it really looked good, the long neck and everything with the hairstyle. Do you feel uncoordinated in the shower when you're trying to reach back to your hair? <laughs> I put on my coat and I always go like this. I'm like, eh, there's nothing there. <laughs> It's like the mystery hair, right? Yeah. Lay thinks he's got mystery hair. He's always doing this. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like what are you flipping? <laughs> well, you also had a very interesting photo shoot this week with slimy, cold fish wrapped all over you. So let's take a look at your best shot. Oh, How wow. Brave. Was that alive? Oh, it's fantastic. It looks like a headpiece, a couture headpiece. I kind of tried to wear it just as if it was a hat. You just look so regal. It's just like attitude up the kazoo there. You look very confident and, and together. You look like you know exactly what you're doing. Your face, your angles, it's gorgeous. I could see opening up a beauty spread in a major high fashion magazine with this photo. This is, to me, the heart and soul of what great fashion is all about because it elevates you to look at it. Thanks, Sinead. Thank you. All right, Mo, you're next. Sassy, sassy Mo. Okay, I'm loving this hat, Miss Thing. Very good job. Got our attention, baby. You also had a very interesting beauty shoot. There's a little silence at the table. Her expression is just very blank. You're not even there. I'm not convinced. There's no correlation between what you're wearing and your look. We're not looking for beautiful portraits in that way. In fashion, it's a surreal kind of thing that we're looking for. It's got to be larger than life. It's like you're wearing a fish on your head. And as much as you want to make it look like, well, it just belongs there, you've got to elevate yourself to that crazy level of reality in which you're wearing a fish on your head. Nolay felt that you did 100% better than the last shoot. Did you go home and study? I wrote everything down, like everything you said to everyone, and then looked at it before I went. That's very, very smart. That's doing your homework. OK, Gina, you're next. Wow, wow. Gina. So now, how did your under-the-sea shoot go? What do you think in there, uh, Gina? 
That does not look like me. <laughs> this is probably my least favorite. What I was trying to portray there was a strong, fierce image. My first reaction was mean. Exactly. So that worked. Because you have such extreme makeup and hair, we needed your expressions a little softer to balance it out. Nole said that he's still on the fence whether or not you're still an actress or a model. Tia, you're next. I actually love the way you styled the little black dress. This little halter number is really chic. And I feel like by putting the glasses in your hair, it kind of just killed that look. So yeah, there you go. There's a model. I love that. Tia, let's take a look at your best shot. I like that. I think that looks really sensual. I mean, you've got great lips. I love the way you're kind of working it. It really does look like a dynamic piece of jewelry. That's art. I mean, you know, it is art. You could have cheated your chin in a little bit. You love to throw your head back like that. The closest thing to the camera is always the largest thing. I didn't take into account the lobster. Crayfish. <laughs> Crayfish. They're not lobsters yet. <laughs> Yeah. Not to make excuses, but I actually couldn't because we had to like lean forward like this. And well, but but you sharp. do, but you can Absolutely. lean forward. Believe it or not, that looks strange, but I guarantee you up close, okay. that looks good. But Nolay said you were the best of the day. You were a total shocker and you landed this shot within the first few frames. Corey, well, howdy. Certainly interesting. Hey, Jeannie, I know you got an opinion because I even saw you squirm in this chair. Go ahead. No, she's like Vegas cowgirl. I don't know. I'm sort of, you know, yeah, that's okay. You doing this with your dress every two minutes is driving me crazy. It's so, un no, it's so unladylike, though. It's all about confidence. I'm usually more confident around people I know, I guess. This is acting. This is show business. I want you to put Corey in a dynamic pose. Help you out. Ooh, look, look at the walk. Yasmin. <laughs> Just booty. Work. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, for, you, you look absolutely stunning. Let's push this back a bit and just, just hold yourself up. Bring this up. Holding yourself up tall and it's, there you go. Let's take a look at your fabulous beauty shoot. Hello, this is amazing. What a great, Beautiful. great look. I love her little mouth and the way it's kind of just natural. I personally love this shot. So you like the innocence? I here. like the innocence. Hmm. So Tara, you're next. I feel like I want to clutch those pearls. Yeah, not happening. Let's take the pearls off. Yeah, so let's take a look at your best shot. Oh. It's so strong, just so beautiful. You look like you're the real deal. I wish there was a little more intensity in the eyes that let me think that there was something else going on in your head. Okay. I almost want to see the other eyes. The next frame should have been a little more up so that the next <laughs> shot is dynamic and okay. then that's the magic. This is what Nolay had to say about your beauty shoot. He said that you're a very beautiful girl, that your skin and features are stunning, and that you tape direction very well. So, Rebecca, you're next. Love your style. Rebecca. Thank you. Oh, wait, clearly you've got oh, a some fans <laughs> over here. You come from where again? I live in Mannheim, Ontario. Exactly. Mannheim. Where does someone like you get all this style from? Because you rock it every time. I'll see things that maybe other people are wearing or in magazines or this and that, and you just piece it all together and make an outfit out of it. You obviously have a um, passion for fashion, but it's so true, and I think that's something that you all have to ask yourselves. Let's take a look at your best shot. I like it. Yeah. It's high fashion. It's a strong shot. There's a haunting kind of beauty to it uh, that edgy and funky and young. There's one thing that I do want to commend you on, and you did a really good job at disguising, you know, the weak chin. Kudos to you. Thanks. But let's talk about what Nolay had to say. He said that you had a very powerful and modern image and that you took direction very well. He wished you would come to set with a more confident attitude. Okay. Okay, Jacqueline. I think you missed the mark. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can put the sash around the dress, you know, Why like you an empire it? waist. That's fine. It just yeah. it looks better. And uh, let's take a look at your best shot. Oh, wow. There's a little bit of a smirk. You say you think there's a smirk there? Well, you could disagree with me if you like. Okay, I disagree with you. Okay, of course you, you do. Say your thing, and then I'll say. Thank you, Jean. 
I see there's a story going on. It's like, I want to know what you're thinking. An absolutely stunning face. Okay, this we know. That's like a perfection. It's like a mask to me. I mean, really? This whole, yeah, it's a, it's a mask. I think she looks stunning. Mm -hmm. I do see the mask as well. There's something frozen about your face. Mm -hmm. Your eyes are stunning in this. Like, they really pop up. You no, know, Lay said, even though you had a great face, you never really changed it, even after being given direction to change your expression. Okay. Stuff. Well, if this modeling thing doesn't <laughs> yes. work out, you can be a designer awesome. and show me how to wrap that dress. I'll totally wear it tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. It's beautiful. I, I, think that's beautiful. I, I really love the fact that you camouflage your cleavage. It's so easy to, if you have it, to actually expose that to the world. <gasps> I was just taking a look over at Jeannie. I'm ruined. Oh. That's it, Paul. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord. Focus. <laughs> so talking about that shoot, can you give us a little more light on what happened yesterday and what yeah, was going definitely, on? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yesterday was stressful for me because one of the animals that we were shooting with was a phobia of mine. I'm sorry, it's an octopus. I'd say it's psychological. Get over it. This is costing like $20,000 an hour. You waste $20,000 in an hour, you know what, I'd be taking that out of your pay. That's what's gonna happen in the real world. I think it was a really big wake up call yesterday. Whoa, whoa. Is she okay? Is she okay? Did she bang her head? Okay, let's get her some fluids. Let's grab the water by my seat. Okay. And get her blood sugar up. Hopefully that'll do it. Okay, so I first want to check, Sinead, you're doing okay and you feel good? Yeah, I feel fine. Okay, so you were dehydrated? Just a note to all of you girls, you know, this business is tough. It's long hours. There are going to be moments where it's rough. So health does come first. We were talking about your photo, Steph. Let's take a look at your best shot. Oh, oh. Ah, ah. Walla walla, bing bang. You have so much potential. Uh, I think there is a real intelligence about you. And this shot looks stupid. For somebody with your knowledge of this business and your sense of aesthetic, for you to look like a linebacker, and we said masculine last week as well, it's, it's but to see this masculine. again is, a, is disappointing. You could have done better than that, Steph. Nolay said that you had a great attitude and that you took direction well, but that he felt you were extremely painful to shoot. I'm a little disappointed, obviously, but at the same time, it's it's good to know what you need to work on. All right, thanks, Steph. Thanks. So now the judges are going to deliberate, and when I call you back in, I'm going to let you know which young lady is going home. We have a really difficult decision. I don't know right now how I'm possibly going to live through this deliberation. Yeah. I have no idea who should go. I just wish we had a real swamp donkey up there so we can just say, yeah, that's the one to go. A swamp donkey? <laughs> Do not ever refer to any female as a swamp donkey. I, yeah, I do sense it's gonna be a fight. So, you know what, uh, Gisela, Sinead. I think she's stunning. I love what's going on with this picture. The actress in her needs to come out more. Sinead wears calamari well. Makeover works unbelievably well on her. Mom. I do not see her on the runways of Paris. That's actually precisely where I see her. She's, she's very runway. I see her in London, I see her in Paris. I always see her in front of the mirror practicing. But if she's practicing that much and that's her product, then that's a problem. That's not a good thing. Tia, Tia, Tia. Oh my, my, my. I think that in front of the camera, she turns it on. Her look is unique, mm -hmm. and it's not something that we see every day in the magazines. She's not conventionally pretty Family beautiful, beauty. and that's what I like about her. Corey, I think you're just too young. She but doesn't know how to carry her body yet. Not yet. I can see, like, the great photographers of the world, except for Paul, maybe, <laughs> wanting to, you know, mentor table. her. Yes. Almost, because she's such a true diamond in the rough. Can she hack it or not? So, Steph. Boy, maybe she's not photogenic. I believe she is. I don't think that we should dismiss her. I see model in person. I just never have seen it in a photograph. She's not submitting to the camera, if that makes sense. Oh, she's, I agree. I she's that. challenging it in a negative way, you know, not letting in the softer side of her. Tara, ba 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 boom I don't find her that interesting. She has the height, looks, the body. She has 
a lot of advantages. I don't think she knows the power she has. Gina. Oof. <laughs> She's stunning. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She doesn't speak high fashion with a capital F. Thank you. I'm about to get New York on her butt, but this is awful. She's just not delivering it in the photographs yet. Jacqueline. This is freaking fantastic. Look at that. Well, you're pointing at the thing. eel, not her. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm looking at, because that eel looks like, ah! and she just like, Rrr. she looks like a zombie. She's forgettable. Well, I liked her, so that's an ouch hearing that. I really like Rebecca. Her sense of aesthetic is clearly beyond Excellent. the other girls. She's the kind of girl that makes me want to be in this business. I think she has to get into her new look. It's not easy being a redhead. Is she a cover girl model? I wonder. It looks like we've reached our decision. Let's bring the girls back in. There are nine stunning, beautiful women standing in front of me. I only have eight photos in my hands. And these eight photos represent the girls who will continue on in hopes of becoming Canada's next top model. The first name I'm gonna call, in my opinion, a true role model, Shanae. The way you carried yourself this whole week is really something that most young girls should look up to. Congratulations, you're still in the running to becoming Canada's next top model. Thank you. Bloods and guts are no surprise, Rebecca. You handled this well. Everybody noticed that you made the effort. Thank you. Tara, we all sense you've pulled back just a little bit, and the argument was, does she really want this? You gotta show us, okay? Congratulations. Corey, we saw a glimpse of a top model in the making. Congratulations, you're still in the running to becoming Canada's next top model. Thank you. Tia. Your creative team helped you out this week. Congratulations, you're still in the running to becoming Canada's next top model. Thank you very much. Mo, get on up here. That strut you just gave us right now is what kept you in this competition. Congratulations. Looks like a little nasty will keep you around a little longer, Gina. They're all concerned what you bring to the table. Can you own your new makeover? I can do better than that. Congratulations, you're still in the running to becoming Canada's next top model. Thank you. Will Steph and Jacqueline please step forward? I only have one photo in my hands. And this one photo represents the one girl who will continue on in hopes of becoming Canada's next top model. Whoever's name I do not call must immediately go back to the house, pack their bags and go home. Jacqueline, the judges feel you are a beautiful model. Their concern is, how do we remember you? Steph, you stand here because the judges are not even sure if you're photogenic. They debate whether or not you can really cut it as a top model. One girl, very photographable, one girl with Passion. It's a difficult decision. Who do you choose? The one people want to look at or the girl they just want to hang out with? Stop. Holy shit. Give me a big hug. <laughs> You're beautiful, okay? You've been in the bottom two, two weeks in a row. Yep. You know what they say, three strikes, you're out? Yep. Better bring a great photo to judging next week. I better. Congratulations. Thank you very much again.
You're still in the running to become Canada's next top model. by the decision today. Thought I would get a lot farther than I did. I kind of wish that I was able to show my genuine personality to the judges and open up more. I don't know, I almost feel I didn't get enough of a chance. <laughs>